Okay, so I thought I'd try something a little different, and this is, uh, I'm gonna call it Pi News, and uh, it's bits of information, software, hardware, things like that, that I wouldn't necessarily make a whole video out of, uh, even though I do a video pretty much every day. Uh, but it's, it's information I'd like to pass on to my subscribers, and I think if you're into Raspberry Pi, it's something you'd like to see. So the first bit of information came to me uh, by way of an email, uh, and it was from Tom's Hardware, and they actually asked me to go on their podcast. Now, I don't really particularly want to go on a live podcast. It's not, it, I don't feel it's for me, uh, but I do love listening to podcasts, and their first episode was excellent. Uh, they had the founder, Eben Upton, on the show, and uh, they got to ask him questions, and there was questions that were sent in and things like that, and some of the things they covered, uh, and it's definitely worth listening to, uh, Widevine support, so this is things like Netflix being supported on the Pi officially, rather than uh, the, uh, the Vents blog hack that allows you to get certain things like Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Spotify working on the Pi, they would like it officially supported. Uh, they asked about Windows 10 and uh, support for Windows 10, and Evan said it was really up to Microsoft if they chose to go in that direction, but obviously he couldn't make that happen. With Linux, they can make whatever they want happen, but with Windows, uh, it would be up to Microsoft. And the other thing uh, that they covered that was very interesting was about the Vulkan driver, and there was a lot more information about that. So definitely, I reckon that's worth checking out. Um, the other one uh, also came uh, by way of an email. I I covered uh, an Android operating system, uh, which is this one, which is uh, from Lemoncrest, which is a Spanish company, and they make products for the Raspberry Pi, um, but they they made this second version. Apparently, a lot of people are having trouble downloading it, and I would imagine it's because after I covered the video, ETA Prime covered the video, and uh, with all his subscribers, I would imagine their service just got completely overloaded, and uh, and so it's not available. But I'm sure it will it will come back on. Um, but. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to show, uh, because I started looking at their website after they contacted me, uh, because I didn't really know anything about the company. Uh, I, again, I was I was told about it. They do these small Game Boy uh, conversions with various different custom boards and things like that, which I thought were great. But then I saw the, uh, I think it's a Kickstarter that they're doing. This lemon pie looks amazing. And it, it looks very much like a PSP. But in the video, it says it's seven inch. So I, I, the proportions, I was trying to work out a seven inch screen. I suppose it is very wide, but seven inch seemed really big, which, which I think is great, because I think a lot of handhelds are, for me, I think are a bit too small. Uh, I like gaming on my iPad, which is a 10 and a half inch screen, but my phone, I'm not particularly keen on gaming on. Although if I plug it into the TV, I, I did a video recently on Fortnite and it was great. But if you have a look at the video, it, it looks really nicely sculpted, it's got, dual analog sticks which I, thought, which I thought looked really good. It's got two sets of triggers so it basically can uh, be like an Xbox controller which is great for Raspberry Pi emulation because it means all systems are supported. But uh, but yeah, this looks amazing. I don't know what sort of price it's gonna be um, because I think one of these was about 170 pounds uh, which is getting it up into Nintendo Switch territory, which is a tricky one. Um, but then there's the flexibility of being able to run all sorts of systems on it. Um, so yeah, really interesting. And the third bit of news is about Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. Now, uh, Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit is in beta, um, and you can download it officially from here. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to Lemoncrest, and I'll also put a link to the PiCast, uh, because I found it quite hard to find the PiCast on YouTube. It wasn't, it wasn't that easy to find it from searching for it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the last bit was uh, Martin with an at symbol for the A uh, on YouTube. He commented that he's been using Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit regularly, booting on its own from SSD. Uh, today re they released a whole number of patches for Chromium which have made the browser work a lot better than before. So that will make a, a separate video because it says here, been streaming 1080p video fantastically. Uh, and so I'll have a look at that and I'm sure uh, if I get great performance on that, I will do that as a separate video. But I thought it was worth putting in this Android news because the information has only recently come to me. Okay, so I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.